Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm discussing about how to create heat map in Python. Welcome to creating heat map in two major plotting libraries in Python, which are the Seaborn and the Matplotlib. And also, I'm going to discuss the importance and usage of this heat map. Guys, okay, before going forward, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when I upload new coding videos. Okay, yeah, without further ado, let's go. Okay, the first step in this heat map plotting is to import the required libraries. Okay. For team required libraries. Okay. What? Okay. Also be importing. NumPy as MP, we want to import and plus lib plot as PLT. So we're going to import C bond as SNS. Let me import it now. Okay, but we're doing import the label we're going to be using. So we're going to be first of all be plotting it, be creating the heat map in in matplotlib. Okay, and we cover this in markdown too. Okay. okay. To create our heat map, we need, we need data. So we're going to be generating a random data using our NumPy packet we imported np dot random data is going to be of shape 10 by 10 random value of shape 10 by 10 okay let me show you my data you can see here this is my random values of shape 10 by 10 let me show you the shape let me show you now okay here's the shape so to plot our to create our heat map we simply come here, we simply call plt dot am show or to providing our data as a parameter our color map is going to be old one okay old one it's in a very nice color map then our we're going to be setting on interpolation now To near west, okay. What I'm giving the color bar, and the color bar, and also giving our title last but not the least for this hit map example. Okay, let me run this now. Okay, here you can see our color map. You can see our color map. Let me zoom out a few bit. Here you can see our color map, which we created using matplotlib. You can see it here. We just use random values. That's why you can see it doesn't make uh, too much sense to us right now. But when we start using it with real live data set, we see how, how very useful this color map is. So the next library which we are going to be using is going to be using what using CD bomb using oh let me just type in using C bomb okay okay to do this using a read data set not just a bunch of random value I'm going to use a read data set this time which is the titanic data set Okay, I'm going to be getting that from the load data set in Seaborn SNS load data set. Okay, this Titanic. Let me on this now. Okay, I'll just have me loaded. Let me check the head of my data set. It's not okay. Here you can see 
Yes, my data set, this data set which we are going to be plotting, which we are going to be creating heat map for. So to create our heat map, we are going to be creating a correlation table called bf dot call this one. I call my call correlation. You can see here this is my correlation table. You can see here this is our heat map. The major use of it is used for multivariate analysis, in which the analysis is used for analyzing the relationship between different variables in your data set, the relationship between different variables, how the variables affect each other. As you can see here in my titanium data set, this is my dependent variable, which is my survive. You can see here how this my peak class affects it. Okay. You can see here that's how what we use this um heat map for. Okay. So to create our heat map in in Seaborn, I'm going to call plt dot figure. Okay. Or we set our figure size best. By eight, then call SNS dot it map. Okay, we plot in our correlation dot which is this, our table here, our data frame here. Okay, when we set our nodes, the tool setting FMT, I would be using. Two decimal places. We don't, we don't want all these values to be in our heat map because the square bus is too small. We don't want all these values to be in our heat map. So I want to be using two decimal places. Okay. Decimal values. Then color map. Set it to one as usual. Just time one red. Then our line. Width or say to 12.2. Okay, then we'll come here, create our title, Sidra. This is going to be Titanic relation. It's okay. Then as you can see, it's our font size here was too small. Let me increase the font size. Let me increase it to, let me say, 13. Okay. So, uh, uh, what, what happened? Tell me now. See. Okay, that thing I'll keep It's just a spelling error. Click size okay once again now okay here you can see our heat map has been created you can see here this is the main function of our heat map it shows us the relationship between different variables in our data set you can see here now this is our survive um our survive column which is our dependent column or silent column you can see that the major variable that or feature that affects it the most that positive correlation with it is this my um this one here where is it okay, this is my fair year the fair which the individual paid and also my i think i think that's just all that have a high positive correlation with it you can see here this one here this one that has 0 0.08 it doesn't have high correlation with this patch so we can easily know that we can easily delete this column and one that have the highest negative correlation is this mine. This is the minus 0 0.56, which is um, the adult male. Okay. So you can see here how the uh, correlation heat map has been able to help us identify the relationship between the survive column and other independent columns. Also, you can easily save this our our heat map. Okay. You see our heat map we simply call plt dot save. For this, get and P and P and one this now. Okay, that is safe. Let me check it to my directory. Let me show you where it's safe. I see here it has been added to my local directory. When I click on this now, okay, 
you can see our beautiful heat map which we just created that's it okay let me turn back to my notebook okay. yeah if you are interested in this titanic data science project i already created a video for it already i will place a link in the description below so you can go check it out it's a very very nice project which i created and I taught everything from the exploration data analysis to the modeling and even to the summation of your of your predictions to cargo. Okay, guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell that you will be first to be notified when I upload new coding videos. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.